It's 5.30 in the morning and we're outside Mexico City's presidential palace. The sun isn't out yet, but the usual cast of early bird journalists are. Inside the building, executive staff are preparing for a press conference. This means checking audio equipment, adjusting the lights, even the sign language interpreter needs to be at the top of his game. For government staff, as well as dozens of photographers and half-asleep news reporters, early morning in Mexico City means one thing, la mañanera. A press conference held by Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador almost every single day. At a small restaurant in the Mexican capital, patrons are watching La Mañanera over breakfast. Sometimes it's very boring, other times it's interesting, and at times funny. It all depends on the president's mood. A single press conference can often run more than two hours. In that time, the president makes an average of six untrue or misleading statements, according to fact checkers. We're talking about nearly 10 to 12 hours a week in which the president speaks to the press. Little of that time is actually spent on answering the questions directly with real data. Back at the National Palace, reporters are still competing for the president's attention. Here, everyone from internet bloggers to celebrity news anchors have an equal chance of getting called on. This is good because you have the opportunity to debate and get clarity on the president's positions. On the other hand, the press conference has in some ways centralized the federal government's hold over information. Critics have referred to La Mañanera as a populist strategy, comparing López Obrador to Donald Trump in the way he steers the daily news agenda. We're in the National Palace in Mexico City, and today's press conference has just ended. What's remarkable, apart from the fact that the president leads these question and answer sessions nearly every single day, is that this practice was previously unheard of in Mexican presidential politics. Me voy. Mañana nos vemos. Long-winded as it may be, many in Mexico see La Mañanera as a positive sign that the federal yeah. government is becoming more open and transparent. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.